Since the 1-0 loss to Nice, we've been on a hell of a run, winning all of our games, bar a disappointing result against Porto, who, again, just a very good team. Existed today where we are bound for the Barnabao. That's right, we take on Real Madrid away in the Champions League. Don't we? Welcome in. As I just alluded to, we're Barnabao bound. We won all of our games other than the Porto result. You know, still looking ahead. I was going to come back for the Morton game, but something happened. So I guess we're off to the Barnabao, except we're not. We had an interview with a Red and FC and it went quite well and they've offered me the job. And I'm going to take it. This is a journeyman save. We can't stay in one place too long if we're going to reach the top. It's a good opportunity. There's a big reason why I feel like we take this job and it might pay off. It's also a bit of a gamble, but we're off to England once again, this time in the championship, we are struggling red in FC. In a move which is sure to spark plenty of heated debate, Hungerberry Finn has left Newtown to join Redden. Who would have thought it? Did anyone guess by just seeing the thumbnail? Notice I wasn't there. Newtown still are bound for the Barnabout. Just we're not manager anymore. It had to come at some point. It was fun in Wales, being dominant, having all that money. But to drag that team along and to raise them to a new level, the players that have to come in have to be paid higher and stuff like that. And it, it's still a long gap from, you know, a championship team. Reading, who are, who are struggling, um, but they've got good wages. And I think, I haven't actually looked at the team. I think we can do something with them. They obviously weren't expecting to be fighting relegation, so we're we're being hired to come in, try and keep them up, and then we can build on it from there. Gives us something different to do. Down 21st, they've won two, lost two, and drawn one of their last five games. So they actually picked up some points recently, which is good. Media prediction was 13th, so just below sort of mid-table of the of the championship. Um, yeah. I, I, as you'd expect, bigger stadium, better facilities, all pretty good. We'll get into the players in a minute. Um, we're going to dive head first. I'm going to come back. We're going to play a game today. We're going to play, I think we play Bristol City in two days after I've taken the job. So we'll bring you that game. They want us to play for set pieces. I'm going to try and do that. They want us to... Um, Sign young players, we'll try and do that, but initially it won't really be about spending money. We're going to try and play with what we've got and get ourselves out of the situation. Here's why I wanted this job and also why this is a gamble. Board alert, owner looking to sell. Due to the owner looking to sell the club, we have altered the five-year plan. Until the situation has been resolved, we'll hold off on it, setting any long-term plans. So, the owner is looking to leave. Exciting, right? I, it could go either way, but maybe we get a a great new owner and someone who's going to splash cash. Maybe we, maybe we're going to feel some pain. Maybe they don't want to keep me on, but I felt like it was a nice level of job to take after um, Wales. Even though we're giving up Champions League football, as you can see, it hasn't been going well this season. And realistically, I don't expect to win a single game. I've taken a little time to look at the teams or build a tactic, so we'll cover, over, we'll go through it and what we're going to play and the key players. I've just noticed that Bristol, Bristol City, who we play, are actually doing very well. Um, they're third in the table, so a very tough game to start off with. They want us to play for set pieces, we're going to play for set pieces. This is the tactic I have built. Now, I've never really used a Trekartista up top alone. But this kid can play it. So Southern is actually on loan from Leeds. Good looking player. Six foot two. I want to try and get him operating as the Trek Artista to make use of his flair and stuff. Um, he's just not quick enough for me to do advanced forward. Or even as a poacher would be another option. 
he is six foot two, so Poacher could be where we we fall back to if the Trakatista doesn't work. I'd like him to play up top because they don't have an abundance of good um, strikers here. We're going with a wide target man on the right hand side. Uh, Miete uh, looks a handy player as well. Um, six foot, very good in the air, good jump in reach. He's going to be. A, ver a focal point for set pieces. They want us to use set pieces. We're going to try. Popov on the left. Um, we actually have a better winger who's injured right now. So he'll probably come back and take that position. And he also is our set piece taker. But he equally, Popov probably takes the set pieces while he's away. Uh, Anar loan in midfield. This time from Crystal Palace. He's a very good looking uh, box to box midfielder. At least for the championship I feel. The team really does lack that player that you can just go. Oh he's playing below his level. Um, that's okay, you can win the championship with championship players loads of teams do it and then you get the difficulty um, the other side, what we'd like to do is aim for young players once we get settled here and build a team that not only can go up but you know fight to stay up uh, Giando Fuchs is the defensive midfielder consistent, resolute player I think he looks quite good age wise, put, getting up there but a, a solid player he's going to play Defensive midfield defend first. He doesn't play well with Bastion, who's going to be our, our playmaker, but hopefully we can turn that around. Consistent, good championship player. Fans love him, happy enough to have him. I didn't see too many inconsistent players, which is a good thing. Scales, uh, I know from you know him being on uh, uh, being on loan at Aberdeen in real life. Um, unfortunately, in real life, we played him as a center back. It didn't really work out, but looks a solid full back option. That's where we go play. Also, He's tall. Good thing about playing for set pieces, this is a very tall team. We're going to try and keep it that way. Opoku and Holmes are a centre-back pairing. Um, Holmes is 6-1. Decent enough looking centre-back. I'd have him in any of my aura saves. Opoku, 6'6". Six six, towering uh, centre-back. We're going to make use of him as well. Plays with his left foot. Holmes with his right. Abrefa is probably the best um, right full-back we have. Looks a decent enough player. Um, average to to good crossing, but he's got that electric pace. Boise Clark um, in goal is probably one of the weaker spots in the team. Goalkeeper does concern me. It's often a make or break position, so we'll see. I've only really picked the first team. That's kind of what I've built right now. We haven't played any games. We haven't tested this tactic out. Obviously, it's just a four free free, but with the Trekker Tista, the wide target man. It's a little different. I'm actually going to use the AP support because I've just started using one in my youth only save and it is playing better than the DLP. So we're going to give it a go. As you can see, high press, higher defensive line. Basically, the coaches suggested I play a gag and press. So I'm kind of playing a weakened gag and press where playing for set pieces type thing. I've just sort of custom put it together myself. We'll tweak as we mean to go on. But could maybe go slightly narrow. I'm going to go fairly narrow. Yeah, fairly narrow. Help with the press. We're going to give our all. We're going to start the game off balanced, and then we'll we'll shift depending on what we need. But we take on Bristol City. They're flying. We're not. Can we pull off a shock? A couple of players unhappy at the team. Unhappy with their agreed playing time. Worried about work permit issues. Uh, Jokel Anderson. He's not good enough. Doesn't matter. Uh, wants to move for a new challenge. He's not good enough. That's fine. Yeah, well, you're going to get more game time. Don't worry, mate. You're in my starting lineup. Uh, Liam Moore is currently the captain. Tom Holmes is the vice captain. I think we're going to keep it that way. Let's confirm that. Liam Moore is not in my starting lineup, but he can remain club captain for now. So, obviously, the pool of a championship club, Red, in, in a bit of turmoil, it was too great. We've left Newtown. We left them in a great place, but... We didn't know when we were going to jump or when we were going to move, but Redden came and approached me. We took the job. Funnily enough, not the only team to do it. Crew, Crew approached me as well. They're in League 2. I'm not saying that's disrespectful. I'm just saying Redden want me and approach me first. And then Crew are like, oh, we'll just throw our, our, name, our names in. Get away with your Crew. It is disappointing I'm not going to be able to batter Morton. And we would have. You know we would have. We are favourites for this because we're at home. So that is good. Again, a lot of that will be based on expectations as opposed to you know how we're actually playing right now. I've called the tactic reading 
red in between the lines. I thought it was pretty good. I'm actually going... Ooh, oh, oh. Lads. Um. Hello. Been managing in Champions League, boys. Manager of support. Lack of experience. I mean, this is... Madness. Nice. Truly insane how little respect they've given me there. I've won multiple trophies on different continents. So exciting. New club. Makes life a little bit easier. Uh, obviously, this season, there's more of it to bring to you because we got to fight our way out of relegation trouble. What we'll do is we'll play Bristol City today, see how we get on, and then I'll probably return after maybe four or five games and see how this tactic goes. We can't really judge everything based on this one game. Um, to be honest, a little nervous. Set pieces, I'm very intrigued to see. There's a lot of tall players, a lot of good players in the air at this club. And this is one of the rare times that a club goes play for set pieces and you look at the team and you go, yeah, yeah, we could, we could play for set pieces or not even play for set pieces. pieces make the most of set pieces. Um, let's see if I've managed to set up correctly. That'll be the... That'll be the trick. I'm a little concerned that some of the players don't play well together. And obviously, there's not links. I don't know how they were set up before, but... It's a little worrying that some of these players weren't necessarily playing. I think the team on paper actually looks pretty good. No hanging about. Straight in. Straight in. We have to win our home games. No excuses. Just lay it out for them. Let's see. Only had two days, I think three days, we've been in the job now. Big game. Lay down a marker, boys. Oh, Pollock. Playing for Aberdeen right now in real life. I've signed him in previous FMs. You might remember him from his time at Spenny Moore. God, he was good for us there. This is going to be the tricky thing. Does, does the way I've set up, does it flow? Does it work? Can we get the ball from defense to midfield, from midfield to the front three? Desler launches it. Scales, good header. Pearson just fires it back. I don't like that big space. Okay, we close that down. Offside? Surely offside. I, yeah, thank you. Like, that pass was absolutely offside. Not the first one. Oh, the first one was offside. The second one was also offside. Actually, no, yeah, it was definitely... That second one was definitely going to be offside as well. We go positive because we need to get grips with the game a bit more. Looking at the team. Playing all right. The, the striker is a bit of a worry. Do I, do I just... Striker Tista is maybe a dumb idea. Maybe just go advance forward. You know, get him a run in between summer and comes short. Fuchs, nice ball. Miete. Where's the Trekker Tista? That's a pen. I'm going to make the change anyway. That's a pen. Who's taking our pens? I don't think I've set up the pen taker. Miete. I don't like the guy who was fouled taking the pen. No. Yes. Love it. Good job. Hey, we can all change our minds, right? It's a lovely pen. Keeper goes the right way, but it's low, it's hard. It's in. Oh, Miete just held up, loses the ball. Not really a pace merchant when you're playing a wide target man, but... Semenyo, oh, great save by Boyce Clark. I did sort of rag on Boyce Clark a little bit. Don't think he's good enough long term, but maybe he'll surprise us. Maybe he'll be great. Gibbs White. Once again, Boyce Clark comes and claims it. Fair play. He's putting me in my place. We go balanced. Starting to lose a bit. Oh, Bastion, breaking forward. Keep going, lad. Oh, Sovereign comes across. Can he pull this back? Go yourself. Oh, it's a great goal. Jacob Southern. Third goal of the season. Brilliant. Oh, it, one tiny concern, if I can float that now, is a lot of our better players do appear to be other teams' players. He's one of them. That is a lovely strike. We're 2 0 up. We're feeling good. That's something we'll look to change. I don't want to rely heavily on 
loans year on year, especially when we're trying to make it that next step, which is chance for the top of the championship, get to the Premier League. You don't want to make the Premier League on the back of using a lot of loans, but also I won't rule them out if we don't have the money. So I got faith in them. Let's keep going. Popov is not having a great game. Like I say, he's not our our first choice uh, winger on the left, but he is for now. The other lad is out injured. I don't think it's long term, but Travers now rolls it out to Pollock. And we do have quite an aggressive press, but and we're high up the field. So far, it's actually worked all right, which is good. Oh, that makes me think, should I have the goalkeeper as a sweeper keeper? Good work there. Hooks, ball over the top. Go on, go on, Southern. Wow. Well, well, well. Oh, it's offside. Oh, come on. What is it about being offside? That's when you get the great face. That is an outside of the boot, left foot shot that goes in. It's just a yard. It was hard to see. Damn. I would take pop off off, but I literally don't have another winger on that side. I don't have a, I don't I don't have a winger for either side. Um you know what? I could move Southern out to the left and then take on another striker. So we got Lucas Shao. 6'4. He looks good. 33 though. And Jamari Clark. On our chart for I I think we'll take uh Xiao on. Up top. Um I might I might just go deep line forward. Uh I'll just go poacher with him. Less mobile, but can win a header or two. Haven't seen much from our set pieces so far. Disappointing. I meticulously set up the set pieces, you know. Moving players about. I actually do like that it is a tall team we've inherited. Bastion needs to come off. He is rinsed. Um, we don't know the team well enough, so we're going to have to go and have a look. See who the right man to come on is. But let's see if we can deal with this first. Lunges in a challenge. Doesn't get the ball. Morgan. He's cutting inside. Big space opening up. Gone all the way. What a miss. Never in doubt. Right. Have a quick look. Who could come on and play? Hasn't really got the vision. Bit of a grafter. Is he the only central midfielder I've got? Steven Adams. Better passing vision. We're going to swap him over and we're going to take Bastion off and throw Dejan Tetic on. And then, William Moore, or Fuchs, Reese Williams, I recognize that name, oh, another Spenny boy, right, he's coming on for a poku, Tom McIntyre, he's a, he can, he can head as well, I'm going to take him on for scales, uh, oh, Actually, don't have another right winger. I'm going to leave the wide target man on. I just hope he doesn't pull up with an injury or anything like that. We've got 15 minutes left. Let's maybe lower the tempo if we can. Bastion. Oh, nice back heel. Oh, lovely ball forward. Wide target man. He's got, he's got Zhao in the middle. 3-0. This is going very well, boys and ladies. This is going very well. Lovely little um, ball forward from Holmes here. The centre-back releases the wide target man. He sweeps it across the box and it's basically a tap-in for uh, Zhao. Nice. Lower the tempo right down. Just what we have, we hold. Take the counter press off. I mean, if that if Bristol City are one of the better teams in this division, then that is good. Oh, Liam Moore went injury. We've used all our subs. Let's just see if we can just get out of the game. We're 10 men. 3 0 win at home. Jobs are good. I hope the team 
look over that sideline and see me there just go just knowingly nodding like I know what I'm doing I can't help but smile to be honest it's a good a good way to start off time at the club oh Blackburn received money from Mopoku uh two free weeks for Liam Moore a goal and an assist from a man who wants more game time he's going to be massive for us he really gave them a hard time we're up to 18th so that one win jumps us three places Beautiful. So I think the small changes will actually just move him to a straight up advance forward. Everything else stays pretty much exactly the same. No, anyway, it does stay exactly the same. I, I, we, we'll play about with mentalities and stuff, but I was happy with everything else. Um, shame we didn't see more set pieces. Let me show you the, the winger that I'm waiting to come back from injury. Oh, he was, he was back. Yeah, free kick. 14, technique 14. Now, I'm going to play him out on the left, even though he wants to cut inside. We're going to play him on the left. So he was actually back. Yeah, so he'll 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 probably be on the bench next time. So the training ratings of this team are shocking. What have they been doing? Um, haven't touched the staff. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're going to have to recruit a whole new team. That Looks like a lot of people left with the old manager. The only staff we took from Newtown was a couple of scouts, to be honest. Felt like the scouts were good enough, so we took two of them with us. Well, it does look like the previous game uh, they had played, they had one under the caretaker manager. But to beat Bristol City, who are flying high, it's a very nice start to our time here. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to complete the month of November and we'll return early December, see how we're getting on. It's a new step in the journeyman. We're at a new club. Viva La Redding. Hopefully, we can turn this team around, get a comfortable finish this season. It's early enough in the season where, realistically, we could make up ground on playoffs. That's where I'd like to head after such a good start, but it'll maybe be beyond us. Who knows? But it's still early in the season. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you're um, happy. What do you think? Are you happy with the move? Is it good that we've moved club? Tell me your thoughts in the comments. It really does help algorithm. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And uh, I will see you next time. We're in Reading. Um, I kind of think I know where that is in England. It's a journeyman. I've been Hungleberry Finn. Till next time. <laughs>